Okay, in this video we're going to be changing decimals to fractions, then fractions to lowest terms, and then fractions to decimals. This is page one, and we'll do these two examples, and then page two, we'll do these examples here. Okay? So let's begin with 0 0.5. Now most people are aware that that's a half, but let's rigorously go through why it is and, and what it means exactly. Now when you see a decimal number, you ha you'll have units, then the decimal point, then tenths, hundredths, and then thousandths. Okay? So it's spelled like this, you know, units, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. And 0 0.5 means 0 units, 5 tenths. Okay? So it can actually be written as a fraction 5 tenths, 5 over 10. Now, if you just think about money, 0 0.5, you know, is 50 cents, right? And um, you might be aware that, a s uh, sorry, 0 0.50 cents, is, and it's, it's five dimes. You might be aware that a dime is one-tenth of a dollar, because there's ten dimes in a dollar, right? So one over ten, and, and that's the same as, you know, 0 0.1, or 0 0.10, same thing, right? One dime. So 0 0.5 is 50 cents, that's the same thing as 5 dimes, or 5 tenths, and we can put that in the lowest terms. And how you write a fraction in the lowest terms is you divide the top and the bottom by the same number. So think of a number that goes into 5 and 10. Well, 5 goes into both numbers, right? 5 into 5 goes once, 5 into 10 goes twice, right? And so this is actually now 1 over 2. 1 over 2 or 1 half. Okay? 0 0.25 we all know is 25 cents, which is of course a quarter, right? Well let's completely show that. Um, we have 0 units, 2 tenths, 5 hundredths. Another way of describing this is this is actually 25 hundredths, right? 25 hundredths. So it's 25 over 100. Now remember um, one cent is one hundredth of a dollar. Okay, one hundredth. And that can be written 0 0.01. Got it? So if we just think about money, it should help us. Now putting this in lowest terms, we can do this. 5 into 25 goes 5 times. 5 into 100. Well, 5 into 10 you see, goes twice, right? 5 into 10 goes twice, and then 5 into 0 goes 0 times. So this actually gives us 5 over 20, or 5 twentieths, and you can put that in lowest terms. 5 into 5 goes once, 5 into 20 goes 4 times, right? And that, of course, gives you 1 over 4, 1 quarter. All right? So 25 cents is one quarter, 50 cents is a half, we know that, uh, 0 0.5 is a half. And um, of course you might have seen, well if you have 25 over 100, you can just say 25 to 25 goes one time, 25 to 100 goes four times, and that would just give you one quarter that way. So you didn't have to make that two steps. But we're going to do ones where we probably need to make a couple of steps, so it's no harm practicing. Okay. So that's going from decimals to fractions, and we're putting the fractions in lowest terms. And um, how would you then put the decimal back, or sorry, how would you put the fraction back into decimal form? Well, you simply take out your calculator, the easiest way, and this is 1 over 2. This is a divide by symbol, actually. So if you take your calculator out and just write 1, just type in 1 divided by 2 and get the answer, okay? see what it gives you in your calculator and then do the same with this one divided by four one divided by four okay so I mean that's the quickest way one uh, divided by two one divided by four okay so this should of course give get you back to giving you 0 0.5 and this should give you 0 0.25 right now let's do some more examples 0 0.75 um, press pause on the video and do this one yourself. 0 0.75. Write it as a fraction and then put the fraction in the lowest term. So press pause on the video and try that one yourself. So 
So that, of course, is 75 hundredths, isn't it? Or 75 cents. 75 over 100, right? And we can go 5 into 75. Now, 5 into 7, you see, 5 into 7 goes once, right? Remainder, 2. See that 2 there? So now I have 25 here. See that? 5 into 25, you see, goes 5 times. So this gives me 15 on the top. And on the bottom, once again, 5 into 10 goes twice. 5 into 0 goes 0 times. So the bottom is 20, right? So that's 15 twentieths. And then 5 goes into both numbers again, doesn't it? 5 into 15 goes 3 times. 5 into 20 goes 4 times. And so that gives me 3 over 4, or 3 quarters. So 0 0.75, of course, is 3 quarters. Now, how about 1.72, though? If we look back at our chart there, we have units, tenths, hundredths. This is one unit, seven tenths, two hundredths, right? Or in other words, it's 172 cents. It's 172 over 100. 172 cents, right? And putting that fraction in lowest terms now, we can go, well, 5 isn't going to go into this because the last digit is a 2, right? But I know 2 will go into that number for sure. So let's try dividing this by 2 because I know 2 will also go into 100. So 2 into 172. Well, 2 into 7 into 1 won't go, but 2 into 17. 2 into 17 goes how many times? Well, 2 into 16 goes 8 times, right? So it's 8 remainder 1. See that? Now I have the 12 here. What's 2 into 12? 6, isn't it? 2 into 12 is 6. So the top, we have 86. And of course, 2 into 10. 5 times, 2 into 0 goes 0 times, the bottom is just 50. Now, the top and bottom are both even numbers again, so I'm going to divide by 2 again. 2 into 8, 4 times, 2 into 6 goes 3 times, right? So that's 43, and then do this one, 2 into 50. Well, 2 into 5 goes twice, remainder 1. And now what's 2 into 10? It's 5, isn't it? So I have 43 twenty fifths. Okay. And what we're going to see soon is um, not only. Um, this is actually called an improper fraction because the top is, is larger than the bottom. So we're going to see turning an improper fraction into a mixed number. So you, you could, I'll just show you really quickly. Um, 25 into 43, if you think about it this way, goes one time. And the remainder would be um, 43 minus 25, which is 18. Okay. In any case, this is actually 1 and 18. 25ths, okay, as a mixed number. We'll, we'll, we'll see more of this soon, so no, no need to worry about this for now. 0 0.375, what about this guy? It's got 0 units, 3 tenths, 7 hundredths, 5 thousandths, okay? Or in other words, it's 375 thousandths, or 375 over 1000. Just plug that in your calculator just to check it. 375 divided by 1000. So just plug that into your calculator. Three seven five divided by 1000. Press enter. 0 0.375, right? Oops, let me show you that. See that? Okay, so in any case, that's the fraction. Now let's put it in lowest terms. This number ends in a 5. So I know 5 goes into this top number. And this number ends in a 0, so 5 must go into the bottom too, obviously. So watch this. 5 into 
37. What does that give you? 5 into 37? 5 into 35. What's 5 into 35? 7, isn't it? Remainder remainder 2. Okay, so we've got remainder 2 here. Whoops. And now this is 25, see? What's 5 into 25? 5, right? So the top gives me 75. And now 5 to 10 goes twice, and 5 to 0 is 0 here and here. So the bottom is 200. And now complete this. Put that in those terms once more. Press pause and continue. Right? So 5 into 7 goes once, remainder 2. 5 into 25 goes 5 times, that's 15. 5 into 20 goes 4 times, and 5 into 0 goes 0 times, so it's 15 over 40. And now, press pause and continue. Simplify 15 over 40. Well, 5 into 15 goes 3 times, 5 into 40 goes 8 times. So that is 3 over 8. So 0 0.375 is in fact 3 eighths. Okay? 3 eighths of an inch, let's say. So you can even check that in your calculator. Just plug in 3 divided by 8. 3 divided by 8 in your calculator and see that should give you 0 0.375, right? Okay, now press pause and do these two ones. 0 0.125 and then try 5.81 then press play on the video and just make sure you're getting the right answer. Okay? It doesn't really matter what method you use so long as you get the correct answer in the end and you write clearly so as you, so you can see your work. Okay, now I'm going to do it. This is 125 thousandths. Okay? Now I need to put the fraction in lowest terms. 5 into 12 goes twice, remainder 2. 5 into 25 goes 5 times. And then 5 into this gives me 200. So I get 25 two hundredths. 5 into 25 goes 5 times. 5 into 20 goes 4 times. And, and 5 into 0 goes 0 times. So you get 5 fortieths. And then 5 into 5 goes once. 5 into 40 goes 8 times. So this gives me 1 over 8, 1 eighth. Okay? And I'll check that in the calculator, plug in 1 divided by 8 in the calculator and it should give me 0 0.125. Now 5.81 is $5.81 $5 or 581 cents, hundredths. Okay? And can I even see anything that goes into that? I wonder, probably not. Does um, 3 go in even? 3? Um, no, doesn't work. Well, 3 doesn't go to 100 anyway. So, poor. Both. Yep, so this is just already in lowest terms. And as a mixed number, by the way, 100 into 581 goes 5 times remainder 81, so it's 5 and 81 hundredths. Okay? So the fractions already in lowest terms can't be simplified any further, and as a mixed number, it would be 5, it would be five and 81 hundredths.